Welcome back from Atom Berlin, the largest Atom XYZ event of the year. I'm sitting here with Dennis, the co-founder and CTO of Soul Robotics, one of the companies behind uh, SawChain. So yeah, Dennis, thanks for coming to Berlin. Yeah, thanks for inviting us and having us. It was a really nice event. Yeah, um, the pleasure is completely ours. And um, before we dive deeper into SawChain, I think it would make a lot of sense if you could like briefly introduce yourself and maybe like also explain the difference between like saw robotics and saw chain. yeah yeah definitely so uh, i'm dennis uh, i'm the co-founder and cto of saw robotics saw robotics is the company behind saw chain it's like the dev lab can be thought of as the dev lab of saw chain um, and we've been uh, developing saw chain for more than a year now uh, saw robotics has been around for about three to four years uh, and it's we have been working more like a in a uh, B2B fashion, uh, providing hardware and software technologies, connectivity technologies to automotive companies uh, with Soar Robotics and Soar Chain is basically our uh, network. Yeah, I think um, that was like very useful and um, yeah, Soar Robotics, you guys are building this little device here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, before we dive deeper into the Modos device, uh, could you like maybe like talk a little bit about Soar Chain? I also know your main at launch is on the horizon, so what is Soar Chain? used for? How do you position yourself uh, within the Cosmos yeah. ecosystem? Um, so uh, SoarChain is a Cosmos SDK app chain. Uh, we're a layer one, obviously. Um, and uh, we saw the need to build an application specific uh, blockchain specifically for mobility use, transportation use, uh, because we saw a lot of shortcomings of the industry as it is right now. Um, so that's how we started building SoarChain. Uh, as I mentioned, we have previous experience uh, from our endeavors with uh, these uh, companies, automotive companies, and uh, there we saw the shortcomings of the mobility industry, that there's the lack of an incentive structure, uh, there's the lack of interoperability, so we want to bring all together. Now let's talk about one of the key parts of your project, which is obvi obviously uh, the Modus device uh, here. Uh, I will just unpack it uh, real quick. Uh, that's a Modus device you guys developed yeah. with uh, Soul Robotics. Also, like, um, you were also on the Friends Validator YouTube channel explaining everything. Yeah. So if you want to have, like, a deep dive into this, happy um, to check this video out. Um, yeah, and, like, could you, like, maybe, like, guide us through this uh, product? Uh, because what I admire about your project is that you went product first so you focused mm -hmm. on building and shipping this device first before like bringing in the blockchain aspect so could you like talk about what this device does and um, yeah how this device is basically plugged into the blockchain yeah um, so this is basically a device um, which is plugged into your vehicles OBD2 or onboard diagnostics 2 port uh, which is pretty much standard in all the vehicles that are manufactured af after t 2008 and uh, even many of them uh, even produced before that. Um, it has a secure element inside of it, so it also acts as a hardware wallet, although it's a wallet for your data to be securely transmitted, authenticated, uh, to be checked upon its plausibility, integrity, etc. So it's the way to access uh, the source chain ecosystem, uh, which will be uh, filled with many different dApps, uh, ranging from um, like smart insurance to EV charging, ride sharing applications to road safety applications. So it basically gives access to all of the, those applications, and it also incentivizes the user. So as a user, you plug this in, provide your data, and get uh, rewarded with uh, Motus source chain Motus network tokens. Yeah, and um, now let's talk a little bit about this aspect that you just mentioned with the Motos tokens. I mean, all of this happens obviously on chain. So uh, I would like to know where are you now in terms of when will these Motos uh, devices be embedded in, mm -hmm. in the cars on the road uh, automatically? Are there any partnerships? Mm -hmm. And then also obviously when main at launch. So when are the puzzle pieces coming together yeah. essentially? So, uh, as I mentioned, we have been working with these automotive companies like Suzuki, Maruti, Ford. We have been providing um, somewhat more advanced versions of this technology to them to be actually used directly within the car from the factory. But as I said, 
um, it is very important to also include the people, the end user in this ecosystem as a main actor. Uh, so that's why we uh, improved the form factor, made it much smaller, cost effective, budget friendly version of the exact same technology so that people can get it uh, and use it as an aftermarket device. Right now we're at the testnet stage, uh, so we have been running our incentivized testnet for about one and a half months, I guess, uh, and we invite everyone to also take part in this uh, ecosystem in the t incentivized testnet. Uh, they can buy the Motus Mini right now from uh, our online shop, um, and they can start earning T-Motus tokens, which is the testnet Motus tokens. Uh, and uh, start generating uh, some rewards, testnet rewards right away. We also have some uh, like airdrop like mm -hmm. uh, challenge type things to also uh, earn tokens in the testnet. And after the mainnet launch, which uh, is planned to be within this year, 2023, uh, the T Motus tokens will be converted to actual Motus tokens uh, and the mainnet will start. Yeah, and interestingly, you're from Istanbul, and all of this will happen very, very close to Cosmoverse. Yeah. So, which is like also a nice coincidence. So, come to Istanbul this year. Um, finally, let's wrap it up. So, what were your thoughts on Athen Berlin so far? Yeah, I, I really liked it. So, I, I have been also in uh, Atom Istanbul, uh, but to be honest, I think this was m much better. Well, I don't know. It's only my opinion. <laughs> it's really vibrant, and everyone's here. It's really crowded. And yeah, everything was great. Perfect. Then, uh, yeah, thanks for your time and see you thanks at you. latest in Istanbul. Thank you.